Hello, welcome to Oscar Modeling and welcome to part 12 of our Ravel London bus build. So in this video, we're working on the top floor. Uh, you'll see that we got all the outside, all the side panels, everything all finished in the last video. We got it painted, we got the wood floor down. And um, now we're going to put the seats in. So I've just test fitting these and they look fine i'm gonna slowly work along and put put them all in place and then this side as well um what i didn't show was this railing here i don't think i showed that in the last video sort of just saw it if you look in the instructions there i didn't see it there there's a little railing <laughs> and there's also one at the front here as well um which i missed before and i've got that here ready to paint up as well and i'll put that on but uh yeah uh, all of this looking good and then once this is all put together all the seats in there um, this goes on top of the bus so um, for those who were watching last week I was a bit concerned about here because we got quite a warp in the floor down in this area here and um, yeah, I'm hoping things will be okay once this connects down onto the, um, the roof of the level below now I have another little concern, which is, I'll just take these out before they fall out. In the back here, I painted that wall in there, but I'm not sure about this section here. I, the instructions don't sh tell me to paint that part there, and now I'm not too sure whether that can be seen or not. There is a obviously a back window of the bus, it looks back here, but it's difficult to check through the instructions and trying to figure out um, whether I can view that or not. If I have to, I'll just mask up this rail here and get in there tight with the airbrush and, and put some color on that. That shouldn't be a problem. But also all this here, um, there was no instructions of um, painting any of this. So I'm hoping that that will get covered. Um, but I guess we'll see as we go. Uh, along with uh, getting all the chairs in here, I've also done the uh, the bonnet or the hood, depending where you're from, what you call it. And here it is here, including I've touched up the dark metal bits on the front there, and that's all finished. So that's put over out of the way, nice and safe. And uh, and which is also with the piece from the roof of uh, above the engine bay or above that bonnet. Uh, I'm going to put that on after and around about the time we put this on the roof just to make sure everything's fitting, which I'm a bit nervous about, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I'll put some of these in and we'll come back and have a look and I'll let you know how it's going. Okay, great stuff. So don't forget to subscribe, give us a thumbs up and your comments are welcome. And uh, I'll see you back here in a second. Okay, as you can see, the seats are all going in well. Uh, no problems at all. So I'm just going to finish these last half a dozen along here and we'll be done. So uh, I'll put the railing on the front there as well. So, uh, yeah, looking all right, eh? Okay, we'll be back in a second when they're done. Cheers. Okay, welcome back. So here we are with a different view. I'm basically test fitting the top deck on our bus. And... Uh, well, it's up there. It's not glued, of course. I'm just sitting it there. I'm just trying to work out how it's fitting, where it's got to line up. I am concerned about a bit of a gap. You may notice there's quite a gap all the way along here because of the warp in the floor. Now, if I press down on here and then here, then the gap does close. So I'm really going to have to find the strongest glue on earth to glue and clamp that down so that it sits like that. All right. Now, some of the locating points where it line, where I want it to line up is okay. Down in there, it's lined up okay. At the top stairs, you see there's a gap there as it, the top reach goes, the top step goes over to the deck. But when I press this down, you see, it does fit in once that's glued down. It's just because of the warp in the plastic. Okay, but otherwise, 
yeah, it's quite a big gap. Um, the other issue is this back corner is going to line up quite well on there. I'm happy with that. But where I'm a bit concerned is at the very front here. I'll bring this all the way around. Okay, so underneath here is where our roof section goes above the bonnet. Okay, so this section in here pretty much goes up the other way and up into there and it sits up in there. Okay, now this should have been glued on earlier but I left this off because I thought I'd have a problem and I, I sort of do. So it's got to sit in there. Now if I was to have this corner of the top deck sit down into there it would be fine okay it fits in there quite nice but the instructions actually show let me show you here for a second okay there's the instructions there's where it goes down and there's where it sits and you'll see if I can bring that in see where it's pointing on the edge on the outside of that locating plastic bit there now that is just not possible because the surface underneath this whole deck is completely flat there is nowhere for that to sit up into which means the whole deck at the front will be raised and I don't know if that's right okay you see what I mean so for example under there under the deck See, it's a completely flat surface. There is nowhere for that bit to sit up into. So I'm going to leave this off because I still can attach it later. If I take this off, let me get the camera back out. Okay, if I take this off. Okay, so there are some locating points here, here and here that match up to those points underneath but they're pretty hard to see if they're sitting there properly but it's this section here that's the concern where that's got to sit in there like that that's got to be glued in so I can glue in this in afterwards if I have to okay one other problem was that to attach that little bit of photo etch so that little piece there in the corner is photo etch and the instructions told me to cut the tab off there like you see there's a tab there and there's there was a tab there but I had to remove it to fit the photo etch but doing that means that see the locating point here I only have it for there the tab this is where the other tab would have fitted so now there's nothing so the only way this whole piece is sitting on there is connected by just that one tab and my other problem is that it's not straight so there's a that piece across there I'm thinking should be where this rests on but it doesn't reach there at all because the whole thing's just not straight okay so yeah I'm a little bit concerned because you'll notice earlier I was concerned about the gap that was in here and I think that that's also going to be a problem there but what the hell I'll keep going obviously and uh, deal with it as I get to it it just may mean that right up underneath there it means that this section here along here may not fit completely flush with that there okay there may be a gap but that's the least of my worries my, my biggest worry is the whole outside of the bus we haven't even started on any of these panels yet panels like this and the sides of the bus they all sit over the outside of this and unless that all fits down like fits around the basically the bus itself uh, we're going to have problems, aren't we? So, anyway, fingers crossed. Um, yeah, what else can I do? Uh, I'll just, uh, I'll just keep at it. All right. So, uh, yeah, I'll be back shortly, and um, 
with a bit more positive progress, I hope. All right, back in a sec. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So, as you can see, all the seats are in. Um, unfortunately, I've I've lost some video footage. Okay, where I was showing me, I've actually glued the whole roof. This whole top section is glued onto the bus now. You see, and I've I've lost the video. Um, don't know what happened to it. There wasn't much there, so basically it was just me trying to get it all lined up. Um, and glued down but what I'll basically tell you was it took a lot of clamps as you can see here to get this on um, as you know the the floor wasn't straight and I've still got a little bit of area under here that I need to just probably have to glue down again and clamp because it's come back it's popped back up other than that everything went on okay and I say okay because it's only just okay. So uh, it's all sitting down flat and level. Um, I'm hoping the outside panels of everything will go on there and uh, we'll be right to go. But um, yeah, so look at the other side here. You'll see that I've got a bit of a gap here, which is a concern. See, it can be pressed down. I can glue this section down again and get that to stay down. That'll be fine. But again, the whole side of this bus will be covered by the external panels. So none of that would be seen anyway. anyway. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, my fingers are crossed. Hopefully you can all cross your fingers too and we'll, this will go and fit together. All right. So now, um, I don't remember if I showed you, but we got the... Well, be careful, I don't want to knock these off. Uh, wood floor is down, all the seats are in, and that's all section is all done. That takes us to, if we go to the instructions here, all right, so this is step 60 is completely done. This is on, 61 is finished. Now we go over to doing the, uh, the bonnet or hood, which we've done. Uh, you saw me do that earlier. Uh, there it is in there. All right, and I may have shown that in the last video footage that I've lost, but I've done a little bit of black detail where the hood connects, and uh, and that's all been done and clear coated, so that's ready to go on. Along with this section, which goes under the front, this is the roof, the bus number. So I'm praying that will fit back on there properly as well. <laughs> Now, this section here, since we've done that, moving to 63 is actually the back upper section of the bus that's going to fit on here. Okay, so that piece is actually this here. All right, so we're going to take those center parts out of the windows. And um, there's a clear part, which is the windscreen. No, there's the roof. I think that's the roof. Let me look at this right like that. Yeah, there's a section that goes in there. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Uh, it says paint that color P, which I think is, let's have a quick look what that reference refers to. Uh, gray, is it? Gray. Yeah, interesting. I'll just check my glasses on so I can read. <laughs> and P is in fact uh, white gloss. Oh, white gloss. Okay, interesting. All right, so that needs to be done white gloss. Uh, there's some holes to be drilled there too. We'll have a look at that. Okay, well, I'll get organized here and we'll come back and have a look. The next step is pretty simple. There's just a piece of railing. It goes down there. I don't know what the exclamation mark mean, means, um, but that's going to be as part of the stairway running down to down there. All right, so I'll get on to this and we'll be back shortly. Okay, guys, welcome back. So we're moving on to step 63 here, and what I've done is I've got this ready to paint. Um, 
I've just glued that onto the roof on the inside because it's actually going to be covered by this panel that slides in there. This will be painted white and it will cover that mark so that doesn't need to be painted in there. This is just a handle I can use to hold while I'm painting it. The inside is going to be the interior red and of course the outside will be the exterior uh, bright red which is uh, this one here. All right, and I've was mentioned. Well, I need to mention that I'm not going to do the photo etch of this whole grill section here that needs to be cut out. The reason is because I don't have the, a saw or anything to cut that out, and you've got to get right down close to there. And I'm pretty sure I just don't feel confident to do it. So, in most cases in this build, Photo etch is optional. So what I've done is I've taken the latches, I've glued those on, the hinges, I should say, the locking latch, I've put that on, um, and that's it. I'll leave that as is. That's enough of the photo etch I want to do for that. Now, that is ready to paint or get some undercoat on. Put that aside for a moment. Now, this is some of the handrails there. We've got a couple of handrails that need to be Paint it up as well, so they're ready to do. Of course, this roof will be done, uh, undercoated, and then done the white in there. Then I thought, well, if I'm going to be painting exterior parts of the bus, we might as well move on to the next part, which is from step 64, which was the rails, which is these here. So with that section, there's that bit with the roof. There is some areas in here we'll do, um, we'll work out how we're going to go about doing those. There are uh, B, which is metal black, and then there's D, is it D? Or, yeah, I think there's uh, grey used there. Um, this is the handrail that you saw, we'll put that on. This step 65, this is the other handrail going up the stairs from the inside, saw that one. This going across is now the front of the bus, all right? So the front of the bus, there's, here it is here, and again, I have the similar problem where there's photo etch for this, all right, there it is there, there's the radiator grill in photo etch, and with the instructions, I'll bring that across, basically telling me to cut that whole plastic out of there, which I can't do, I don't have, uh, I can't cut that out, and it's very thick plastic too, by the way. But what I have found is that this will fit over the top, okay, which is normally going there anyway. So maybe I could do that um, black. That will go on there like that. Uh, fits fine. And then we've got this surround, which will sit on top. And again, that fits in there perfect as well. And that's what we'll have for our front grill. Okay, and I'm happy with that without actually putting the hole through through there. Okay, now one other thing is this section here where you've got all this detail on here, all these ribs, there they are there. They're showing we need to take all those off and replace them with the steel photo etch and a bit of brass photo etch. And there's what it's going to look like. Now I've looked at that and I've looked at this and I've come to the conclusion, all I'm doing is replacing what's already there. Uh, it's exactly the same size. It's going to look exactly the same as what, I mean, when you picture this when it's painted, you're not going to know there's photo etch under there, really. So again, I won't be putting that on there. You're welcome to go ahead and put that on there. It doesn't look very hard. Just, you know, they just go on. Use your Migamo glue to attach it, and it'll be fine, I'm sure. But I'm just not going to do it because I just don't see the point. I don't see that it's going to make any difference. Even the small piece that there is on that top corner is replaced with exactly the same thing. So, yeah, I'll leave that. Now, there are a few other things on this piece. For instance, on the door down here. Let's move this up a little bit, you can see. So we've got uh, a bit of stripping that goes across there with a 
uh, a handle or a latch. We, we put this uh, hinge or latch together and it goes in there. I will probably put the latch on there, but I don't think I'm going to replace the, um, the, the trim detail because it's exactly the same, once again, as what's already there. But I might add um, that latch there because it does seem to be a little bit more detailed than just a little square bit of plastic at the cut that's on the kit plastic. Also down in there, you'll see there's a bit of a grate there. So like that's where the driver's going to put his foot up as he climbs in the driver's side door. Uh, I will be putting that on. That's no problem. That just goes straight on top of there. And then there's another little latch here, which I haven't even figured out where that is at the moment. Um, oh, here we go. So up above the radiator in there. So there's that latch. I think that's what it is. I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, that's going to sit on there. So that's no problem. I, I'm probably be able to do that. It may be a part of the bonnet, actually. That's where the bonnet goes down. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'll go put some photo etch on here, I think. I may actually paint this separately and do it black. Uh, yeah, and this is in two different colors, this part. This has got some uh, silver on there as well as the bus red. So I'll have to detail that up. So I'll probably paint this and get this undercoated. Um, with the instructions is quite a bit of work on this. All right, we've got some lights here that we'll need. We've got lenses, we'll go on that. Titanium silver is what the surrounds and inside of that's got to be painted. Uh, there's another little lens that's going to go up on here. So there's a bit of detail, but I'm pretty sure I can at least get the th get this undercoated with primer first and then come back and look at the details. Um, yeah, I'm thinking of putting these on separate. haven't decided this. If you weren't going to cut this out and you didn't have the photo etch, um, the basic colour they're telling you to paint this is the London red, like the rest of everything else, which seems a bit odd because... When you look at photos of the bus on the box itself, it does actually show this is dark underneath uh, this grill. So, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. I may be able to just hand paint that um, black so it's underneath there. It just seems silly to have that looking red under there. Anyway, all right. Uh, I'll get on and again, move on and uh, show you a bit more progress as we go. All right. Um, as for more panels to paint, step 67 here has another one. I haven't even looked this far yet. I'm not even sure what that is, but it's obviously something I've got to do. And going over here to more panels up here. Uh, this is probably the rear of the bus. Yeah. So one thing for sure is that when I go and start doing the actual top prime, the top coat of red on, on these things, I'll be doing them all at the same time just to get that consistency across all the panels of the bus. Uh, I'll be doing the whole lot all red. And that will include the actual sides of the bus as well, the big sides of the bus. Yeah because they all go on uh, separately as separate pieces um, onto the bus. Okay, hope that hasn't confused people. But like I say, the photo etch is optional uh, in most cases. And uh, yeah, sometimes it just seems pointless to be adding it when you're just replacing detail that's already there. All right, back shortly. Okay, welcome back, everybody. So I've got some painted parts to show off. First, we'll have a look at these. So these are the handrails. They've been done in the silver, ready to go on. Um, they come up really nice. It's actually uh, aluminium color. So it will match the rest of it. So the one goes up the stairs and one goes across the top level um, towards the stairs. But we'll have a look at that later. Also got the uh, front that goes on the where the grill over the grill. 
so it's going to go sort of that way so that's all ready now this needs to be a bit of detail done with my um, pens I'll use my um, chrome and silver pens to do the detail on those bring that up really nice and we've got the actual um, grill itself all right now I want to show you the color I used for this because this was really interesting I'll be back in a sec I'll just grab it okay back so to get that that really beautiful metallic look on that I used the Outlaw Paints electro plated black for that really really nice paint goes on goes on beautifully as you can see with the finish on that it just gives it that definitely looks like metal uh, look on it so I'm really happy with that so there it is the electro plated black and outlaw paints links are in the description if you want to go and take a look at the range okay so that's that bit then i did the roof that goes under the part in the back i think of the bus that we're working on so there's the white area so i didn't need to paint the underside because it's going to be not seen but there's the white and it's just gone on really nice Okay, there's no clear coat on any of these at this stage. Do that after, but beautiful white went on there. And we've got our red exterior going on here. Look at that. Very nice. You know, that's going on really nice coverage on that. Now I still need to do the inside of this, um, the darker red. And then the surrounds in those windows there, I think, have to be done a grey. Work out how I'm going to do that. Now, I've also done the front of the bus. I think this is, this looks really cool. We'll have a look at this. See, grab it. There it is. So there's the front of the bus. All right. whole thing is red, as per the instructions. All right. Very nice. There's where our grill is going to go over with the outer surround. Uh, I didn't do so much on the headlights because they've got to be done in a silver colour. In fact, they have to be done, just looking here, C, which is uh, titanium silver. All right. So, But that's come up really, really nice too. Beautiful, the paint's gone on there. Very good. Uh, there is a bit of detail in here that needs doing as well. So uh, bits that I'll use the pen for, some chrome bits. And I think there may be even some um, darker, just looking here. Yeah, I'll just have to look at some reference photos on that. But there's a little bit of detail in there to do as well, as well as the inside of those windows which also need to be done in B, which I've got listed as metal black. All right. Surrounds on the inside. Yeah. Okay. Fantastic. All right. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to start working on those little bits of details and putting them together. Uh, that roof section that you saw that was white, that's this one here, goes in here. So it's just going to slide in the bottom of there that's why I didn't need to paint the underside of that. All right, excellent. I'll continue on and be back to you guys shortly. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Got to show you a bit of progress on some painting and a bit of tips I've got. So there we've done the uh, headlights in there and the chrome silver, including that little light up there. It's gone on well, no problem at all. Just used uh, some tiny little brushes that and brushed it on um, that's pretty much done that piece there uh, other than the glass going in so I could although no sorry I've still got our radiator and surround to put on so I will do that next um, what I have done is this part here so you can see I've done the gray around the window lining in there you see that you look on the inside you'll see and you might think well gosh how'd you mask that up and and manage to do that in there well I didn't mask it at all I painted it on 
and what I did was I used these little brushes here particularly this longer one there's different sizes so Iggy Sticky which you'll, you'll find there's a link down in the description um, has let's find it for you here here's a sample packet anyway micro brush applicators okay different sizes all right uh, I think I'm using the two millimeter here uh, it's 1.2 mil is that white one there sorry the glare so basically just touch that in your paint and just run it around the frames inside and it's done it's so easy to do and then when you need smaller areas for instance the edge of that on there I use the smaller one here just touch that in the paint and just work it around and you're done no need to mask or anything and you get a beautiful neat job on all the windows so there's that tip uh, this part is done we need to put the roof in just letting it dry a bit more but the roof will slide in the top there cover that Oz. and then uh, that's that done then what I'll do now is I'll bring the bus down and I'll fit those railings on that I showed earlier um, they're going on the back stairway of the bus and well actually next we'll be putting these on all right so we'll come back and have a look at that when these are on. That should, that should make that front end look really nice. Okay, back again in a sec. Hey, welcome back again. Um, sorry, I say I do, I'm going to do something and I do completely the opposite. Um, I have done the radiator. I've put the grill in, but I haven't done anything else. So I'll just show you. There's the grill in there at the moment. All right, it's almost dry and I'll be able to put the uh, surround on. But in the meantime, while that's drying, as you know, I move on to other things and I put the railing in. So there's our railing going down there and then the one on the inside, just see it there. A bit better there, runs down and goes in the middle. I was a bit concerned at first because I thought, oh, there's supposed to be two holes down there where it attaches. And I just, because the angle I couldn't see in there. But yep, there are two holes in there. So just a touch of glue and they're in. So. That's all good. I'm happy about that. Um, also, I took the clamps off that were holding this down. I had a problem with this sitting up high. I need to, needed to, it was, the glue hadn't, hadn't uh, held it down. So I left it for another couple of days. I've just taken the clamps off and everything's in place. So we're all good. Oh, and one other thing I forgot was there's a decal to go on here. I completely forgot about, there it is there. So obviously there's a glass window on the panel that goes over the here and that shows that underneath. So I've just placed that decal there. I'll let that dry. And um, I might even just go in there and give it a quick spray of clear over the top just to give it a bit of extra um, sealing on, onto the plastic there. All right, so there we go. A bit further on and uh, a bit more progress. I'll come back and this time we'll probably see either the roof sitting inside this piece or we'll finish that radiator and have a look or both okay back in a sec okay back again just thought I'd show you here we've got the grill in and the surround on there now you might um, you'll notice that in the instructions there's a decal to go in behind the grill there it's uh, number 43 if you go to 43 on the decal sheet you'll end up with that one there. Okay, now if you're not going to use the grill, like the photo etch grill, then I'd recommend probably using the deck and putting that on there. But because I've used uh, the photo etch, well, it's sort of a bit better than the deck. So, because that's sort of imitating uh, the wire effect through there, if you can just see the way that is. But if you're not going to use it, use the deck or the options there. So that's all gluing and sticking on and that's going to be fine. I'll give that about half hour just to make sure it's all, all good. Um, and also, oh, and this, uh, the roof on here. So I put the white roof in. I've just glued that in just now. It all fits in there nice and snug. So I'm just leaving that to dry. And then moving on to the next step, which is, we'll have a look here this across all right 
So let me just move these things right out of the way. <laughs> okay, so this we can cross off. This is completely done. Okay, that's done. I've already crossed that off. That's the railings on. This railing here is on. That's crossed off. Um, the decal on the side, don't miss that. It's the one I showed you earlier. Then we're on to the front here. There's the decal showing for on front of the radiator. But all this here is not, <coughs> excuse me, is not completely done because we've got glass to go in. We've got headlight um, glass to go on, a little bit there to go on too. But number one tip, don't do any of the glass or plastic, clear plastic, until after you've clear coated. Otherwise, there's a very, very good chance you're going to fog up and mist up your beautiful clear um, plastic parts. Which means that this whole piece, once that radiator shroud is dry, is ready to clear coat. So I'll be looking forward to doing that and clear coating that. At the same time, I'll clear coat this piece as well. Um, then we move down to here, which is where we're at now. I haven't done any of this panel at all, so I need to get that off the plastic. Um, it looks like there's uh, some clear parts going on there as well. A um, few colours to go on there. And uh, anyway, we'll do that. And I'll just quickly look over the page, because it always pays to look ahead. There's this um, section where we put the roof in. And there's all the glass, clear glass going on, in, as well as decals for the advertising that's going in there. So it'd be a good idea to get that clear coated so I can also get all the plastic glass fitted in there as well with the decals. And that will complete that part. Okay, that's getting a little bit ahead. So right now, as I said, I'm going to go clear coat these pieces and I'll get this off the sprue and we'll make a start on putting this part together. Okay, back again shortly. Welcome back again. So, here we go. Clear coated. There it is. All ready to go. I haven't clear coated the inside of it yet, so I will do that pretty much straight away now. Here's the front of the bus all clear coated. As you can see, the radiator is looking pretty good. All that's waiting on now is glass. We need to put the windows in, headlights and so forth, all, all on those. And then there's decals and covers to go on these. Lots of, um, yeah, lots of uh, work to go on these. The other section of the roof, which I'll move that out of the way for a second, is this one here. Uh, bed painted up and drying. Okay, not clear coated yet, but... Uh, this one I've uh, undercoated and I've just got to put some clear uh, white. This needs to be done white. And then I can start putting in, uh, again, more uh, clear parts like we have for here once I've um, clear coated this. Obviously, the, and the underside of this will be the interior London bus colour. All right. And then we'll be doing all this. So lots of glass, plastic, clear plastic to be done in the next video. Okay. So thank you all for watching. We'll see all that in part 12 coming up in the next video. Um, don't forget, please subscribe. Please add your comments. If you've got any comments, tips or suggestions, put them in the bottom there. And don't forget to catch me on the live stream that we have every week. And uh, yeah, that's it. All well, have a good one until I see you all next time. Okay, bye for now. Cheers. <laughs>